Hi everyone, so Lawrence is back. I have here a SRNE power inverter model HES 4855S100-H. It's a high voltage series. This is a 5.5 kilowatts hybrid off-grid inverter and uh, made by SRNE. This is the newest model and uh, it can be purchased from Alibaba with the price starts at uh, 689 per unit i put the link of alibaba star in e in the description box so that uh, if you want to buy and find the store in online selling platform in alibaba you can uh, easily go directly and buy from them in this review i'll show you the outside and the inside part of this inverter and uh, go over with the uh, salient uh, features this inverter can be purchased having 48 volts DC and the output is uh, 220 volts AC or alternating current this is a pure sine wave inverter it has a 95% efficiency the maximum open circuit voltage is 500 volts DC the frequency of this inverter is 50 or 60 Hertz with automatic uh, detection when connected to the grid or the distribution utility the waterproof grid is IP65 it weighs 20 kilograms or approximately 9 pounds it has a length of uh, 556 mm or, or 55.6 centimeters has a width of uh, 345 uh, millimeters or 34.5 centimeters and uh, has a thickness of 182 millimeters or 18.2 centimeters the color is uh, milky white which is very neat to look at a very nice enclosure uh, very nice casing pretty sturdy and of course the water type let's dwell our attention to the glands so these are the glands one two three four five six seven eight this is the biggest gland this is for the battery so this inverter uses different uh, sizes of glands which signifies the safety and effectiveness in terms of uh, insects going inside like uh, this one this uh, gland is for the photovoltaic uh, port where we can insert the photovoltaic uh, cable of course the positive and negative whether the size is uh, two millimeter square or four millimeter square or uh, six millimeter size but the recommended uh, pb cable for this inverter is only four millimeters on the top of this uh, bb cable gland is the power switch okay and it needs to push in to close the connection inside and power up the inverter once connected with the battery so here is the cable gland for the battery terminal this is the biggest glands among all ports as we need to use the minimum of uh, 35 millimeter size of battery cable I'm curious of this power inverter eh, whether or not built with the transformer like a toroidal one so in a bit I'm going to open this uh, wire box and the uh, main cover see the composition inside another important uh, cable glands are the ports for the communication cable so there are four one two three four communication cables uh, two for the RS485 uh, one and two the other one is usb communication port and uh, the can or the can communication port and obviously this uh, power inverter has two separate ports for the ac so these are the ac input and output when we say grid uh, port this is for the ac input and for the load port ac output of course, uh, it has the LCD monitor where we can see and set parameters of the inverter. It has uh, three indicator lights for inverter. Uh, this one is charging indicator and the other one is the fault indicator. Okay, so let's remove the plastic cover. On this side, the overload protector, a push uh, type button, but no amperes indicated. 
this inverter has also a chassis ground okay this one has chassis grounding screw where i will connect the ground wire later inside of it a large portion of uh, heat sink uh, to dissipate the uh, heat and aside from that it has two fans or blower to help cool down the high temperature it absorbs air from the bottom and blow it up upwards this setup is better than the 5 kilowatts inverter because the latter consistently gets higher temperature during peak harvest of energy of the PB arrays because the only component to dissipate the heat is the heat sink. So let us open this now. Wow, it seems uh, comfortable to put wires and cables here for the AC input and AC output. Both are screw type. Just insert the end of the strip wire, of course the applicable size, and have it tightened by the Phillips screw. So three terminals for the AC input and output lines. Uh, the line, neutral, and ground. This is also the dry contact. A three pin relay one is normally closed one is common and normally open we can wire this to the generator where we can automatically set the startup mode of the generator that in case no other source of power in case of doomsday and total blackout may take longer days we can use to provide power to inverter and charge batteries on it for another cycle as alternative source of uh, energy these are the port for the scan two for the rs485 and the usb communication port where we can connect to our computer or laptop after we install the software for this uh, inverter this is the PB cable uh, terminal, the positive and negative. Okay, this is now the MPPT side or the solar test controller. So as you can see, a lot of uh, capacitors. This one is not a toroidal type. Because uh, when you say toroidal, it has a big magnetic core. But uh, this inverter is made up of uh, electronics. So this is an electronic type hybrid inverter. Where inverter and the uh, solar charge controller are uh, placed in one uh, case. So this is a current transformer, the fan, and a lot of uh, electronic uh, parts. Okay. Some components are uh, dedicated to inverter itself. This is plainly an electronic type of inverter with MOSFETs, IGBT, capacitor, and many more. Some conductor size at 12 gauge, which is fine for AC line. And you can see the ribbon cable is connected to the LCD. All in all, looking at the wirings, build, is fairly decent quality i don't see anything that is uh, messy and i think the entire appearance is good okay so i'll hook this up uh, and put some battery and connect all uh, ac lines pb lines to see if functioning well as to the complete configuration testing and parameters it will be shown in another video Okay, for the time being, I'm now concluding the SRNE power inverter uh, review and uh, watch out for the next uh, video that I'll be showing up about the installation of this solar power inverter. Okay, so see you there in uh, the next video and uh, I'll be talking to you soon.
So thanks for watching. Bye.